Okay, candy store updates. It has been a very long time since we made an update. So, as you know, we invest in VGC, Value, Growth and Catalyst. So we need to buy companies that are cheap, great value, that have high growth and need to have a catalyst. So let's start with the largest market cap, Capstone Copper. So Capstone Copper is currently fair value. Um, so this is the value for this year. And this is the value for next year. So we are right mid in between. So um, yeah, uh, not a lot of upside unless copper goes up. So this one I have sold because I don't see the value in capstone copper right now. Um, it has growth, but it's fair value. So this one is deleted. Next one, Frontline. Frontline is a tanker stock. Why do we invest in tankers? You can watch my previous video on Frontline on that. Um, the reason is we are in a tanker bull market. So these are the current rates for Frontline, VLCC rates, Suez Max and Afra Max. And based on these numbers, we have a PE ratio of two and a half. That's very cheap. So I kept Frontline. Same with Artmore Shipping. That's also a tanker stock. Um, but the difference is this is uh, crude oil and this is products. Basically, they are all the same uh, PE of three to four and will probably go higher. So I also kept Artmore shipping. Next one is Trillion Energy. Trillion Energy is a European gas stock. Um, the problem with Trillion Energy that I see right now is that gas prices are very low. So the EU gas price has come down from this top and it's now headed lower. Um, I really don't see gas prices come back up to 100 or 150. The EU is now using less natural gas, not more. LNG is also not doing well in Asia. And US natural gas is also very low. So this doesn't look good in my view. So I have sold Trillion Energy um, just because of the natural gas price. I know this could bottom out, but I don't expect another spike to 150. So there's not a lot of upside anymore. So this is out of the portfolio. Then we have Sidara Therapeutics. So this one is just a biotech, very low allocation, just a lottery ticket. I thought that it would go up uh, with the FDA approval, but it went down. So now I'm going to back hold it until the J and J results, which will be very good. Um, so after the J and J results, somewhere in the summer, I expect a pop, and then I can exit, or at least cut my losses. So this one I will just hold. Um, next one is Soma Gold. 
um, you all know that uh, I bought this. Uh, you can watch the video. It has done very well. The valuations also look very good. Uh, triple, quadruple upside, and if they find the resources, this can be a 10x. Uh, maybe not a 10x, but a 5, 6, 7x. And has a lot of leverage to the gold price as well. As you can see here, if we go to 2500, then you can easily see this can go to a 10x. So plenty upside. So my gold new holding. I also think that gold will do well. Next one is Trigon Metals. Also a new holding, just recently bought. Because I wanted to have exposure to copper. Copper is doing very well. We are going into deficits in the coming years, so this should go higher. And the upside. Yeah, you can watch my other videos on that. But currently you can see we are a bit overvalued currently. But in a year from now, we will become severely undervalued as they go to the, the underground. So that's a easy double to a triple. Um, yeah. The infrastructure is worth 150 million and market cap is only 50 million. So it should already be a double. Prospera Energy is the next one. Yeah, this we will just keep because we all know that oil is going higher. So oil is going into, uh, <coughs> into deficit by the end of this year. So Eric Nuttall is saying that from May to June onwards, we should see oil spike to 100. If oil goes up, Prospera Energy will go up. Um, Eric Nuttall also says that we need to go into Canadian heavy oil. That's exactly what Prospera Energy is. Um, there's also growth in the pipeline. They are going to drill 10 horizontal wells, 7 vertical wells, do some acquisitions with added barrels. So the leverage is going to increase. Um, it is going to be fair value for this year. But for next year, I see massive upsides. Um, the estimates are about 50 million net income. So that's a PE of 1. So for this year, not a lot of upside, but in the future, there is a lot of upside. So wait one year and we could go double, triple on this one. So this is a long-term hold. We are in a long-term oil bull. Avricor Health. This is still my diversification stock. Um, SaaS company, technology, healthcare company. Um, it has not done a lot, but fundamentally it has done quite a lot. When we look at the stores, store locations, it has been rising and is probably now already at 520, 530 stores. So fundamentally, something has changed. Earnings are going to come in. And there is a catalyst 
they are going to go international at some point this year. So 420, we are currently already at this level here, 600 probably. Um, that's the June number. So somewhere here. So as you can see here, there is some net income projected around one to two million per quarter. So five million per year, three to five million per year. That's and the market cap of 30 is PE of five, six. That's a good company. I expect this to go higher. Um, Deep South Resources, just a speculation stock that I bought. Um, they had good news on their uh, property in Namibia. Um, so I expect them to get the license back, the mining license. And this property is extremely valuable. At the current copper price, this should be worth almost $2 billion. $2 billion. And the market cap of this company is only $17 million. So I expect a re-rate and then I will just sell it at some profit because I don't like to buy and hold explorers. But this is so cheap that the, the probability of upside is very high. Okay, so that was the update. And I just want to finish by looking at these stocks. So why should we keep this portfolio? You always need to uh, project, you need to project one year ahead what will be the cash flow. Um, if the cash flow will be increasing, then that's a good company. So let's go over everything. Do you think the tankers will be improving themselves, improving cash flow in a year from now? Yes. Tankers are in a bull market. There will not be a lot of tankers anymore. Oil uh, demand will go up. So we need more tankers. Tanker rates will be going up in a year from now. So at a PE of three and a half right now, this is only going to get better and better. So these two are a halt. Sidar Tripartics, yeah, that's just a lottery ticket. Nothing to say about that. Soma Gold. We know that gold is in a bull market. And Soma Gold is now trading at price to free cash flow of two. So it's already cheap, but in a year from now, production is going to increase from 35,000 to 45,000. So in a year from now, this company will be much better off. It will also have paid off yeah, its entire debt. So in a year from now, this will be higher. Trigon Metals, in a year from now, they will be mining from the underground and 5x their production. So, yeah, the cash flow is going to increase dramatically at Trigon Metals. Also, copper is in a multi year deficit bull market. Deficits are going to increase. So as copper grows up in a year from now, trigon metals will be going much higher. Prospera Energy in a few years from now, okay. 
oil will be at 100. That's 30% higher. And we also know that Prospera Energy will drill 10 horizontal wells. So you will be absolutely sure that production will go higher in a year from now. Cash flow will be higher. So we are going to hold this one because cash flow will be higher in a year from now. Africor Health, they are just increasing their locations. They will go international in a year from now. So earnings can only go higher from here. So this company is improving itself, is growing. Earnings will follow. Um, Deep South Resources, that's just a lottery ticket, but even they will be drilling uh, holes in a year from now and increasing the resource. Also, this is copper and copper is in a bull market. So all of these stocks will be doing well in a year from now. That is why we hold this portfolio. You need to project the cash flow. Okay, that was the update and I'll see you in the next video.